Jen here from Jenny and Teddy. In this tutorial, we are going to make a um, lightweight summer cardigan. What do we need to make this a crochet hook size? 5 mm crochet hook. Four stitch marker, the yarn needle, a pair of scissors, and the yarn that I use is uh, from Wu and the Gang called um, Buddy Hem Yarn. The color is um, Tropez Tan, is 100 gram and 190 yard or 174 mm. So the recommend size for this yarn is um, 3.5 mm hook but I use the 5 mm hook because um, we make the project quicker and so let's get started. Um, this summer lightweight cardigan is um, Made from just two long pieces of rectangle, exactly the same, and fold them up. You can see, and with the stitch pattern, is called a fancy last stitch. It's very easy for beginner. Only one row repeat, and I have the video tutorial for this stitch. As well, I will put the link in the description below and the writing pattern for this cardigan as well. So let's get started. So we will, um, in this cardigan is made for size small and the other side I will put the link in the description below. To my blog so you can get the free pattern and we will start with the um, chain 32 is the foundation chain will be multiple of 4 plus 2 so we start with a slip knot and then chain 32 1 2 3 Four, five, six. Um, I will go off the camera and meet you at thirty-two chain. Now I just finished um thirty-two chain already. We will add two more, two more chain. Because the foundation chain is a multiple of 4 plus 2. And then we are going to single crochet in each chain across. One single crochet. We will keep continue doing a single crochet in each chain across until the end of the row one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet um, I will go off the camera and meet you at the end here. Now we are at the end of the single crochet in each chain across that we just made. And then we are going to chain 3. One, two and three turn your work on this row we will start um, 
to do the fancy last stitch row by skip the first stitch here and make two double crochet chain two two double crochet one double two double chain two one two and then make two double crochet all in the same stitch now we have our first um, fancy last stitch already then we are going to skip three stitch one two and three and on the next stitch we make two double crochet chain two and two double crochet all in the same stitch two double already chain two one two and make two double crochet again all in the same stitch now we will repeat this step by skip three stitch one two three and make two double crochet chain two and two double crochet all in the same stitch again two double already chain two and make two double crochet one and two now we will um, repeating this skip three stitch and make two double chain two and two double crochet until um, nearly the end of the row I will go off the camera and meet you here so at the end of first row of the fancy last stitch you have two stitch left but actually I have three stitch one two three um, don't worry about it we just keep them all and in the last one we make one double crochet And then chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work and in this um, row, we will just do um, two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet or in the chain two space from the previous row here here so let's do it one double two double chain two one two double all in the same chain space so here and in the next one we just keep doing the the two double crochet chain two two double crochet in the chain space from the previous row chain two and Two double crochet one and two so 
so we will keep repeat doing this um, in the chain space here um, I will keep continue doing it and meet you at the end here so at the end of row 2 of the fancy last stitch you can see the chain 3 from the previous row here chain 3 in this space we make one double crochet and all we finish and then we always chain 3 at the end one two three turn your work this chain 3 doesn't count as anything but it's good to have it <laughs> and we will repeat row 2 of the fancy last stitch row by 2 double crochet chain 2 2 double crochet in the chain space in each one and at the end you will chain 3 and uh, at the end you will make one double crochet in the chain 3 space so we repeat row 2 until we have the the long piece of the rectangle and now after we repeat row 2 of the fancy last stitch we will have a long piece of the rectangle the long piece of the rectangle will be um, about 48 inch long this way and about 10 inch this way 10 to 11 inch this is for size small and I will go off the camera and make another piece and then we will join them together um, now I finished two pieces of them already see it's about 48 inch long then we will fold this piece up and join them here to create the body of the cardigan. Now we are folding the rectangle in half here and we are going to sew from the from here to the top here along here so we are going to sew use the yarn needle You can use um, your any um, favorite method for steaming of your sewing. I think I use uh, maybe they call a whip stitch. along here Um, 
I, I will um, go off the camera and finish sewing. For this, um, we only sew on this part, the top part, we're not sewing. Um, now we finish sewing here in the middle to create the back panel of the cardigan, and then we are going to so on the steaming on the side and this time we will use a stitch marker to place um, the armhole then we're not going to sew the armhole I think uh, will be about five to six inch um, hole here and we are going to sew along this side here choose the yarn needle again I will go off the camera and finish sewing on both sides I will meet you there hi guys now I am finishing sewing on the side here already and in the middle and now we are going to add a long sleeve to add a long sleeve just um, join the, the yarn In any place, but I I will draw in this place here, so it will be easy for me to spot on when I start on to the new row. Draw the new yarn here, and we will be the, um, making the single crochet around on the armhole for one row. We will make a single crochet in each chain and each stitch around for one row. Um, I just try to um, give you the clear to see. Yeah, this is the armhole. We will keep continue doing a single crochet. If you see the the big big hole, big space, I will, I will put two single crochet. Or you can put one. Or two, up to you. So I will keep continue um, um, adding the single crochet here for one row, one row, and meet you at the start. So after we finish single crochet on for one round around the armhole already, we will chain two, one, two, and double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one, skip one, and make double crochet in the next stitch now we will repeating this by chain one 
skip one stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch so you can see here chain one skip one stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch so we will um, keep doing it until we meet at the start here I will go off the camera and meet you here now we are at the end of row 1 of the easy last for the slip we will do double crochet and then chain 1 and make double crochet in the chain space chain 1 double crochet in the chain space chain 1 double crochet in the chain space um, we will keep continue repeating this by chain 1 double crochet in the chain space until the end of this row here I will go off the camera and make it here. Now after we finish row 2 of the simple less for the slip, we will continue to repeat row 2 of the simple less row after row until you have the your design length. So we just repeat row 2 of simple less by chain 1 and double crochet in the chain space chain 1 and double crochet in the next chain space chain 1 and double crochet in the next chain space chain 1 we will continue repeating this until the, we have long enough for the slip. I will go off the camera and finish it and I will show you how long the slip that I make. Um, hi guys, after I um, repeat row 2 of the easy last stitch for the slip, um, I keep repeating and I measure my um, sleeve is about about nearly um, 10 inch you can keep going for a longer sleeve but I, I think I will stop for now and you can fasten off and tidy up some yarn the yarn tail I did in here and so all we finished for the lightweight summer cardigan i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial thank you so much for watching